Kapoor and I'm at the COVID-ed valedictory tech show organized by AIC CCMB. Uh, today I have a very special guest uh, on the Thought Leader Show, Shri Vijay Ranjan Singh Ji, our Chairman and Managing Director, SPMCIL. First of all, very, very welcome. Thank you. Yeah. I wanted to know, you were you spent a considerable amount of time today, which was very kind of you to spend that considerable amount of time today talking to the senior leadership of AIC CCMB and the entire team and they gave uh, some of the wonderful presentations and updates and progress on the startups that are funded. I I wanted to know what are your initial impressions about the work that AIC CCMB is doing. First of all, I must congratulate I, and I gratefully, I am grateful to my previous predecessors who have identified this program and funded them. Because with last maybe 15-20 years of my association with the different PSUs, I have never heard that any PSU or any government company is helping some startups and giving funding under the CSR to some incubation center. And the work done by, I, I was told that eight were selected out of which six has come to a really commendable level. And two, three product, what they showed to me, it was really, really very heartening and very, very satisfying for me that whatever money we thought, maybe we are not directly serving to the com community, but through startups, we are bringing some huge change in the life of the people. For example, they showed that how that uh, elderly people, their fall can be pro protected. And they you can uh, think about it and it's uh, just analogous to the car balloon, how it, how it comes out. It's really very nice. It was very heartening to see. Like that small kit for which you don't need any a high hi-fi machinery, AC room, huge investment, just 90,000 rupees kit and 30, 20 rupees per test. It's really, really, really very good. And for that, I compliment the AIC team, CCMB, and all the persons, people like you who mentored them, and all the team, frankly speaking, who are directly or in, indirectly involved in uh, doing away their hurdles whether it is regulatory or technical or financially or managerial issues. Sir, so after knowing about these products and uh, these startups and uh, you, you also said that you were impressed with some of the uh, uh, biotech products. That, what is your, uh, where do you think is the, is the youth of the country uh, heading? Uh, do you think we are... Uh, almost on our way to make uh, good, remarkable progress in the biotech startup and ready to take India to the next level. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Our India, we, we are not dearth of any talent. Only thing that who is going to identify and who is going to take to take them to a certain level. Like our Honorable Prime Minister always say about the Bishwagun. We are the youngest uh, population and technical uh, technical people in India, the, the people who are passing out from the engineering background or medicine background, biomedical background, I'm sure that if right environment, right support is given at the appropriate level, India can so uh, can become a role model to the entire world. And this local solution, what we are, we are, uh, we are following till date the technology and the device developed by the developed country. Now we are developing and we are giving some disruptive technology and small, small intervention. With our modest, just 2.36 crore, if we can help the eight, eight startup, and then if they can taste, they have done in their trial run only lakh people, 15 lakh, 20,000 k, 12,000 uh, 2,000 k. You just think that if, we are just a mini Ratna company. Mm -hmm. We are having very less fund for this uh, CSR. If some big companies can come and then if they can support, it can change the entire world. Absolutely. It is At least India. The success story is similar to us landing on Mars with the kind of budget that we did. Yeah, so, exactly. Chandran, yeah. Wonderful. Uh, so, sir, continuing on the previous question and uh, your thoughts and wanting to know, ex wanting to ask you to expand on your thoughts for the last question. Do you think India has gained uh, a visibility as the pharmacy of the world? Yes. In my earlier instant, I was working as a private secretary to Minister of Fertilizer, Chemical and Pharmaceutical. Then I came to know that every three tablet is consumed by any 
human being in the world one is produced in india one out of each every yes. three is yes. produced in india Pro- produced in india whether it is a generic band uh, most mostly we are master in the generic medicine so yes we are the pharma of the world wonderful spent considerable amount of time in your career uh, you know uh, as a forest officer and you know helping the tribal communities and all of that and i i'm sure uh, that is how you picked up your love for photography uh, during those tens but i it has come to my knowledge that uh, you are a wildlife photography enthusiast and um, uh, you have some amazing photo clicks to your credit uh, please do share some insight with us on your love for wildlife at today i may be a cmd of a security printing and minting com- company of the government country, of india yeah. of the country but i started my career in a government setup as a forest officer yes and uh, i love nature so as i wear my spectacles i used to carry my camera and i used to click photographs just for my satisfaction because i thought that i was a privileged person i worked in many national park most of my time i have spent in the as a manager in the wildlife area wildlife management area like national park tiger reserve where people used to pay money just for 2 hours safari maybe 1000 oh, rupees yeah so yes i have uh, not clicked great photograph but whatever it comes to my eyes i used to click and yes i had but it is not because i if i share and if i can showcase and i compete with the other photographers it is not good on my part because the privilege which i get as a forest officer visiting the interior interior not in only the interiors any time you tourists come just for 2 3 hours in the morning 2 3 hours in the evening in certain area but i had the entire forest as my regulatory as my protecting uh, protection duty i used to travel Yes, I click, but uh, I can show you privately. But I don't publish it. I don't show it to the Facebook, and I'm not posted anywhere because I don't think that uh, it is for that some publicity or thing. I do it for my satisfaction. So is it just wildlife or I other kind a, of photography? No, l- landscape. I had. I'm having around one one forty one fifty, but uh, varieties of butterflies photographs. Wonderful. Hundred species of almost orchids of wild orchids of Western Ghat. Apart from normal mammal, tiger, elephants, I have some rare of rare, rarest of rare photograph of otters, smooth coated otters. So yes, I have, and I some of them I lost in few years back, but still I have many. I don't know if you know, but Ramji, after this interview, if we can interact. He is also a, a photography enthusiast. Every day, he clicks photographs of butterflies and uh, plants and all of that. I'm sure. I just wanted to yes. connect you both on that. And uh, I started butterfly photograph on quest of my daughter. Ki papa, this butterfly aati kahan se hai? <laughs> so one day I saw one butterfly laying egg on a leaf. that is the red helen butterfly and you click that moment no i click that moment i put a net around it so that no predator can eat it and finally i photograph the entire life cycle of that butterfly wow. and i showed it to my daughter and finally when that butterfly came i'm talking the history of uh, maybe around 15 16 years back my daughter was just 3 year old so when that butterfly come in the early morning out of the pupa so i put it on a red ki dekho beta this is your just like a clip <laughs> and that photograph i still chair so likewise i i do it for my satisfaction i am not a wildlife photographer i am not a technical expert but yeah i can compose in my old early days i used to do painting and calligraphy so i can compose good photograph that i can think but if i am a very good wildlife photographer uh, i decide <laughs> I have also come to know that you also have very deep love for languages, linguistics. No, it's not like that because I born in Jharkhand, so I know the. I born in Jharkhand, and I sit. I studied my up to schooling days 
in part of college life i spent in rachi then i shifted to delhi then i was allotted to the karnataka cadre in karnataka also kannada was a alien language then i learned kannada then i was posted in mangalore and kool there they use the different language like kurgi and tulu some part konkani so it's not that uh, instead of avoiding it craving it i cannot control the external and likewise i told just few minutes before that things which are not under my control if you are only you can only converse with in me in kannada i cannot control you and i cannot force you to learn hindi sure. or english so it's better that it is in my control to learn kannada so i started learning that's why i learned wonderful great outlook no it's not outlook it's just a it's a very smart uh, self development tip to navigate your own way through life right i mean yes. i wish people were and um, knew that becoming flexible and making yourself flex is actually a smart move for one's own self it is already invented we don't of the late uh, of late people stop treating books and other thing yeah you if you read the meditation of marcus i forgot that uh, greek philosopher he he has written already maybe 5000 6000 years back and you know that serenity principle of bible god g- give me power to change the things we i can change yeah. except the things and wisdom to differentiate so that's what on that basis i'm telling you if some if, about learning this language only right. or suppose many of my friends i know they used to crave ki how can we you eat the south indian food when you are going from north india you wouldn't get chapati but i'm one i'm a foodie and i love food and i can tell you that each district of karnataka is having different food yeah. and i love it only thing is i am a vegetarian so except non vegetarian i can eat and i enjoy food if you go to bashno devi you will search dosa there it is my first hand uh, experience if you search dosa it will taste like your chole or rajma chawal hmm? and if you once i uh, ate one uh, chole bhature in udupi it was a horrible experience and then i learned ki jahan ho waise raho <laughs> So I say, जहाँ का लैंग्वेज है अगर मुझे काम करना है, I cannot quit the service. It's better to learn. If I went to Delhi, if my other surroundings are the Punjabi people, so I learn. It's good now that you try to learn and you can interact more deeply with them. Absolutely, absolutely. To stay informed about the startup ecosystem, subscribe to my Startup TV.